and it's Vlogmas Day 21. Hey guys, I'm vlogging from the car. I'm driving on local traffic, so it's not so bad, right? Um, but today is a Friday. Yeah, 21, can you believe it? Um, I should be looking on the road, so um, let's see where I can put you guys. I don't think there's a good spot. Anyways, tomorrow's my dad's birthday, and it's a Saturday that I am actually not doing anything besides like just trying to um, get some Etsy orders done. I got a few orders through Etsy um, because the, I have a lot of um, older kids on there, so I let people just be able to get it at like a regular price and then I did a sale today so because I want to get rid of all of those kits so that I could reformat them and bring them to the shop next year but um so I just went to pick up some salmon for my bosses for their weekend dinner I think they're having friends over tonight or tomorrow night something like that but this is like the first weekend that I'm not doing anything except for like personal stuff so I plan to go to the outlet mall tomorrow with Lewis maybe and then he and I can go get um stuff for my mom and Coco so anyways I have been having a huge shop dilemma because um, as you guys know or may not know um, I do only offer two different kinds of planner stickers um, for planner specifically which is the Erin Condren vertical and then the vertical for the classic happy planners I want to um, incorporate again hourly ones but in a different take on it the, in the style that I personally use it which is really like date covers, bottom washi um, you know a lot of functional stuff and then um, what is that called and I also want to do Hobonichi stickers but then again I don't have a current Hobonichi anymore and I don't want to buy another planner because I was fortunate enough to receive a lot of newer Erin Condren's and I'm set up until like the next release for next year which is great you know but I'm just like well I want to keep making stickers and then so that's my dilemma for kit wise stickers right and then the next one is if I want to continue on and offering character stickers because as of right now I already outsource the scouts which are my chibi girls but then the Raja one I personally do it and then I introduce Quacky Chan the other week yeah last week and then you know like I just want to keep making things but I don't have enough time in the day and then here's another thing um, if I offer keychains and things like that for my characters, I have to figure out sizing for those. If I want to make washi for them, then I got to design the washi. And it takes a long time, more than um, it takes for me to come up with like a sticker kit. You know, like for some reason I have that system down, but I don't have my character stickers, you know, like I don't know what to do with them yet. Like, I've been doing kits since 2015, and I just started um, the character stickers almost two years ago, which is still, like, pretty young, do you know what I mean? And then I didn't do them um, consistently either. So one month, I would have um, barrels and the rest of the girls, and then it'll be, like, three months later up until I release new ones. And then in between that, I would come up with um, my cat one, so or my tiger one. Um, but yeah, those are just something that I am taking in consideration, especially coming the new year. You know, I always take it as like a start of a new thing, you know, things like that. Um, and I also want to stick to an actual schedule, which I pretty much did up until the end of the year. I was only doing uh, monthly pre-sales because I can only take on so much for the month. I can't like release 16 kits in the same month, you know what I mean? Because like I felt like there was a pressure for shops 
last this 2018 and 2017 to be releasing something every single week or something new or keep up with the new clip art or be in a sale so towards the end of this year i made my like sort of little resolution that i am not gonna be in any other um, group sales except for the big one that I'm trying to get into maybe next year hopefully I get in there um, and then that's about it for me for group sales but towards the end of the year the last three months I didn't apply to any other group sales anymore because I was just like I just had it like I was done with it so I, I did that so I, I could check that off my list and then the next thing I wanted to start was do monthly pre-sales for my own shop so pretty much I was doing my own group sale and that went great so I started that in September I have yet to do anything for December which is fine um, because of the holidays and that's um, what I'm currently working on but um, the next thing I want to do is consistently have a $2 Tuesday for the characters and then every two weeks I will release some kits. So let's see what happens in the new year but I think that's what I'm trying to do right now. Um, that's just something in my, my head that I have that is like kind of bothering me but I'm not quite sure so yeah <laughs> I'm almost at my destination so I will cut this little like um, little discussion with you guys maybe up until later but I finally found a good spot for you guys so anyways um, I'll probably see you when I get home okay really quick before I head out so the building manager of the building saw me walk by and she's like crazy she gave me cake so I have a two hour almost yeah almost two hour drive I'm gonna eat cake while I drive home. All right, guys. I'll see you when I get home. Tabarman post Christmas, yeah. Oh, I know it's coach. It's from Edna. Hi. <laughs> it's from Edna. Okay. <gasps> <gasps> oh no! I know for my iPad. <laughs> Edna knows. No. Mom, open it! It's for my iPod! Okay. Oh, box lamp. <gasps> <laughs> it goes so you don't take Coco's purse anymore. Mm -hmm. I still get it. Yeah. Uh. How did box. I guess that right? I thought it was <laughs> over. Then the lamp picture. Yay! This is, a, this is recording, not a picture. Oh, I can. Jeez! So I'm finally home. So we're gonna do the advents really quick. We're gonna do day 20 and 21. Yeah, day 20 and 21. And then I'm gonna open two days of socks. So I'm gonna do the socks first. I think. I feel like we're fully done with the first. The last one would be down here for this one. Oh, it moved. This is Thor. Ooh, I think I want this. And this one is another ankle socks, I think. Who is this? Who is this one? I have to ask him. Hold on, but I have to ask him who this is. So we got two and then four. For the Raja advent, I got this one, and then, so we're going to do day 20. I think this is also another washi card. I don't know. I think it got mixed up during, yeah, this is another, another washi card. I think when I was dividing them up, it got mixed up so that two days consecutively were washi cards. And then day 21. Oh, this is a very functional one. I want to do more of these. I want to do like an actual full sheet of eight of them. But this is just a quarter sheet version. Okay, so that socks was actually Black Widow. I didn't realize it because I think, you know, how she has like red hair in the, in the comics. But yeah, it was Black Widow. 
I'm actually gonna wear my Captain America socks right now because it's long. It's freezing in here. Okay, so Beatrice, if you're watching this, I just want to say thank you for sending me some happy mail and my uh, pen from Pen Gems that she ordered for me. But the packaging of the things she sent me were full of the Simply Gilded washi that I didn't want to throw away. These purple ones. And they're so pretty. They're purple. You can barely see it. But they're pretty much purple and then um, they're hollow. So what I did is like... I cut it up enough to make a full week spread so I'm currently trying to put washi on my hourly but look at that you could even see kind of like their hollow sheen and it's looking rainbow right now but I managed to save it look at that how like crinkly it is and then I <laughs> together but it made it like a full week spread which I'm very happy about